operation. A lot of people um, upon their first visit, you know, they see this atrium lounge that we're in today and they think that this is like the main thing that we're doing at the greenhouse is offering this space. So in this space we've got uh, demonstration systems, um, we've got some hydroponics behind me here and along the wall. Um, here this is an example of a natural uh, furniture bench um, and then we've got a demonstration balcony garden and all sorts of uh, amazing tropical plants in here. Um, this space is used mainly for uh, studying during the daytime. 11 till 5 is when we're open. And then in the evenings from 5 to 7 we have special events, educational workshops, people can book our space for their own events, um, and social nights such as having live music or dance parties up here on occasion. But beyond that, we've got a lot going on all throughout the greenhouse. If you go down the hallway, you're going to see a lot of different compartments that have uh, growing, different growing projects within them. Uh, we rent our compartments for students and community members to do their own projects so they can explore growing a certain type of plant or growing in a certain type of way. And then we have a room that's dedicated for houseplant production. So we have houseplant sales throughout the year, every October, February, and then again in May. So people can come up here and buy our ecological houseplants for very affordable prices. And then uh, beyond that, we've got edible food production. So we've got a coordinator that will focus on growing uh, ecological food using only you know, sustainable methods. And we produce things like kale, um, different herbs, and microgreens, which are you know, little sprouts as our main um, uh, crop that we grow here. So those are some of the things that we have going on in the actual physical greenhouse. Um, but beyond that, at the Loyola Camp of, of Concordia, we've got a in-the-ground farm that we operate uh, during the warm months. So basically, the two projects kind of act in conjunction, where during the school year, people are able to come up here when it's cold, and we can grow kind of when it's not so suitable to grow outside. And then in the summer months, uh, we grow in the place where it's best to grow, in the ground. And we have a weekly farmer's market every Tuesday from 5 to 7, where community members and students alike can come and uh, buy our stuff for really uh, affordable prices. Uh, yeah, we've got a few different ways to get involved. Every year we find a new, uh, board of directors members, so applications usually occur in September or October, and then we hire for November. So that's a really great volunteer opportunity for people who are feeling very passionate about the greenhouse or have skills that they want to be offering to our organization. Um, beyond that, we've got volunteer sessions that run during the school year, so September through April, and uh, usually one is working with houseplant propagation and working with caring with the plant for the plants that are here in the atrium space. And then the other session is working with the edible food production, so things like planting seeds, watering, pest control, harvesting. Well, a lot of people are just very excited about the organization, so they want to just like contribute to help it grow, help it to be sustainable in as many ways as possible. Um, I would say the main reason that people volunteer is because they want to touch plants. Like, you know, especially during those winter months when it's super cold outside, people just simply want to come here, be with plants, touch them, grow them, learn about how they grow. So I think that basic interaction, you know, and there's been a lot of studies that have come out that talk about how human interaction with plants, with soil and everything, really contributes to a better a state of mental health. So I think that's, uh, you know, one thing that we can offer is just the atmosphere and that experience. But, you know, our experienced growing coordinators that lead the volunteer sessions, they're going to teach uh, anyone who comes by all that they know about identifying plants, about identifying pests, which can be really good because you have beneficial insects you attract and also insects you don't want to really have around, um, about best watering practices, how to grow things, you know, from start to finish. So there's really a lot of learning for that. Um, some of our volunteers that have come here um, or who have done internships uh, here, um, they have gone on to, you know, create their own green businesses with microgreen production or assisting communities with building their gardens. So really it can be a very empowering uh, session, especially when you're coming on a regular basis every week. The cumulative knowledge knowledge that is, is gained is just really uh, valuable. So um, the city farm school that I mentioned, which is the farm on the Loyola campus, um, we actually run internships uh, for that. It's not just for students at Concordia, it's open to anyone to uh, apply to uh, participate. And we've got three different types of internships you can take during the summer months. Uh, the first one is starting with greenhouse growing. It actually starts in here in the greenhouse and then moves out to the farm. And it's for people that are interested in learning about growing conditions in a greenhouse, how to start seeds, basic soil science, um, introduction to pest control and things like that. 
The second session is it for people that are interested in starting a small scale garden, whether it be in the urban cityscape or whether it be you know, out of town on a small acreage. So it's learning about how to be planting those seedlings, how to take care of them and how to run a small scale market. And then the session finishes off with uh, either you can take an herbal pharmacy uh, course uh, where you can learn about how to grow and transform all sorts of useful herbs. Um, and then there's another one uh, at the in the fall months that looks at you know closing up the garden, uh, season extension, uh, seed saving, transforming food. So right now that's where a lot of the energy in the organization is, uh, both uh, teaching those interns and then having them help us out with you know implementing like creating our medical pro medicinal products or you know helping out with the farmers market. So uh, also in the summer we do a lot of planning. So you know we do surveys to find out what students are liking and we're just going to be meeting over the next few months to figure out what we can offer next year for the students to get the most benefit out of the space um, and about the from the uh, type of educational events we're offering as well. So our physical location for the greenhouse is on the 13th floor of 1455 De Maison of West. All you got to do is take the elevator to the 12th and the stairs will take you to the last floor to get to the rooftop. Um, so we're open 11 till 7, September through April. Uh, during the summer months, our city farm school, it doesn't have any fences around it. So people can go there anytime and take a look at what we have growing. You know, we've got a food forest out there. So people who haven't seen what it's like when you have bushes and trees that are all edible, it can be a very exciting place to go. And that's located at 7141 uh, Sherbrooke. Uh, and then you can look it up on, uh, on the maps and you can find out exactly how to get there. Um, otherwise, when uh, you're not visiting either physical location, you can check out our website at concordiagreenhouse.com and uh, through that website we have a newsletter that we send out weekly uh, during the school year and it's filled with information about what we have going on at the greenhouse, what's going on in campus in terms of sustainability and food and beyond that what's going on in Montreal for those type of community events. Um, so uh, also our Facebook page, uh, just Concordia Greenhouse on Facebook is really active. We post every single event that we do on there. We post events, photos of our projects, internship opportunities. So between the website and the Facebook page, you're going to be able to see everything that we have coming up. September through April, there is a weekly farmer's market that happens here on the downtown campus. It's on the second floor of the hall building, uh, right on the mezzanine outside the Hive Cafe. And we have a table there every week uh, during, I believe it's Wednesdays 12 to 6. Um, and people can come and they can pick up all of the different things that we grow there. We have a hives at the Loyola Farm so they can buy our honey. Uh, we do zines and different kits sometimes as well. Um, so that's a really great way to pick up our stuff. Also also at places like Frigo Vert, um, the Hive Cafe, um, Caffeine, you know, those different cafes, you're going to be able to actually buy our microgreens uh, to have them added to your meal. So if, if when people are looking for, you know, the most hyper local food that they can find in downtown, that's for sure the best uh, avenue for that. That's amazing because it's all grown literally downtown. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like you can't you can't get closer, you know. And also that we use only ecological methods, and the fact that we keep our really prices really low because we're funded largely by students. So we want to keep things as accessible for that student body. Thank you so much, Sheena. Thank My you pleasure. Very much. I look forward to seeing more of you up here. You guys need any help? Are you looking for anything? Yeah, the that's all of the. Uh, Thank you.